Welcome back to Hannity. In tonight's Hannity investigation, the NAACP convention in Vegas is in full swing, and to no one's surprise, at the event, well, black conservatives are not exactly welcome. Take a look. Why would you want to join the NAACP when you don't stand for any of the principles of what the NAACP stands for? Deneen is trying to speak here. Because it doesn't. And she doesn't. They won't allow her to, to share a different view. Are our people because supposed to think the same? Because the people that are attending the NAACP are coming for the values of what the NAACP and we're is. Now, and if they want to be, we're can I now what if those they want are. and what and whatever values the conservative um, Tea Party members have, whatever little party they have, they can go to them. Now, despite that warm welcome, well, yesterday, Denise Borelli spoke to some of the black conservatives who were brave enough to attend the conference. Take a look at this. Since they're the National Association for, Col for the Advancement of Colored People, I think that all people should be represented regardless of their political stance. They've been, become so political with their ideology and they're so ingrained in that part of the system that they can no longer see what their real objectives are. You have people that, that have different points of view. And we need to express that. That is being shut out. We're excited to see people, black people advance. And maybe our take is different, but we all share that commonality. And I think that should be able to be presented at the NAACP. And here to reveal the real discrimination within the NAACP is Fox News contributor Deneen Borelli. Um, National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, um, you're a black conservative. Are you welcome at this convention? Did you feel welcomed? Not at all, Sean. I view this as political segregation, actually, because the NAACP, if you're a black liberal, you're welcome on the stage. If you're a black conservative, you go down to the exhibit hall. The video you showed at the beginning of this segment, the woman yelling at us as she screamed at us, this is the mindset from the brainwashing from the NAACP that has been, do they've been doing this for many, many years, and it is causing harm to black conservatives and Tea Party members. Al Sharpton, Jeff Jesse Jackson, President Obama, Eric Holder, they all have the same message, the same drumbeat of victimization and race card that is causing a lot of harm in the black community. Now, we've actually done entire shows on the institutionalized discrimination against black conservatives, and so things aren't getting better. It's, in other words, it's a, a sad story, but a very common story. What is it that they are fearful of? That the people of this organization, do they feel that conservatives some way threaten what the movement is about? Because uh, I would think yeah. that you stand for individual rights and non-discrimination. I know you well. I know you stand for those things. Equal opportunity. No, yes. No, you're absolutely right. And that's what they don't want. That's the message they don't want communicated to the black community. Uh, we had an economic forum by Empower.org. We talked about education, employment, and energy. Vital issues that are harming the black community where unemployment is through the roof and energy prices are chipping away at people's disposable incomes. They don't have solutions to the problems that are happening in the black community. And that is why black conservatives are a threat to the NAACP. Remember, it's about money, power, and influence, and we are a significant threat to them. All right, Dean Borelli in Vegas. I remember if you're playing blackjack, the dealer has to hit 16 <laughs> and hold on 17. All right, so if you're playing, remember the rules. Uh, great report, yep. though. Thank you for being with us. Thank you, Sean.